Hey everybody, Blind to Declan checking back in. Hope you all are doing good. So, I'm going to start out this video by asking everyone a question. And that is, what the fuck happened last night? All everyone had to do was vote Republican. And it seemed like the vast majority of this country screwed that up. It wasn't hard. All you had to do was just go vote. And when you got your ballot... You either clicked or penciled in the Republicans all the way down. I'm going to start by talking about a few different states and then go after the entire country in general. First up, the communist state of New York. I'm guessing 90% of everyone that lives in this state must love communism and poverty because that's what they allowed to happen. You all voted. King Cuomo back into office. So I'm guessing you love the poor transit system, high property taxes, high cost of living, seeing your favorite mom and pop shops go out of business only to have a Starbucks or a Home Depot open up in their place. You must love that your kids have crappy education because that's what they get now for the next couple of years since you voted him back in again. You voted back in a senator that doesn't like Jewish people. Says she does not believe in Israel. How the hell do you let that happen? They say they don't like a majority of people, and you still vote that person into office. We'll never understand the people here of New York. You're way too dumb to help. Next up, the great state of New Jersey. You had a choice between a Marine running for Senate, and a pedophile running for Senate. Who do you go out and vote for? You chose the pedophile. I'm sorry. Last I checked, we hate pedophiles. We don't allow them near anyone, and we sure as shit don't give them anything. But I guess people in New Jersey are too dumb to understand that. <sighs> Next up, not exactly sure what state they're in but somewhere in this great country people decided to vote Muslims into office now I don't have anything against Muslims I think we can all agree especially those of you who are watching that have served in the military and gone overseas know that the vast majority of Muslims are nice people and don't wish to do us harm however with that being said some of them do wish to do us harm, destroy our way of life, and kill us. And until we find out who all of those ones are, we have no choice but to classify all the rest of them as threats to this country. Again, not going to understand why people wanted to vote Muslims in, but that's what they did, so now we all have to live with the consequences. Texas. How do you almost allow Ted Cruz to lose. Like, seriously, the man is doing good, and you almost fucked up the Senate for us. That's probably one of the only good things that came from last night's election, that we get to hold the Senate. Other than that, we did crappy. You let Democrats take over the House, and half this country now has Democratic governors. Again, I will never understand half the people in this country that think it's okay to vote for dumb rats. Yes, I said dumb rats. I don't care if people get offended. That... I guess the only one good thing about last night's election, and I think we can all take a piece from the Nevada playbook, they voted Republican for their senator. Now, some would say, why is that such a good thing? Or why should we even, like, you know, take a page out of their playbook? Some of you may not know, the senator that was Republican, that everyone chose, is dead, passed away a couple weeks ago, and he was still elected over a Democrat. What does that tell you? Even though the Republican is dead, buried in the ground, six feet under, you still freaking vote for him. Not hard. Really, not that hard. I think we could get monkeys right now to go and vote Republican. 
and they would still do a better job than half the people in this country did last night. Either way, like I said, we get to keep the Senate, and hopefully we can do some good with that. Trump can appoint some more Supreme Court justices, and we won't have another Brett Kavanaugh fiasco like we did the last time. Hope everyone else is doing good. I'll make another video soon. Remember, let's try and be the better person and not do what the Democrats did when Trump won. We don't cause protests. We don't go out there doing harm to anyone else. We go about our daily lives and try and make the best of a bad situation. Until next time, God bless the United States, and don't ever apologize for being an American. Catch y'all later.